Hello everyone, welcome to Nady Mobile Bits. In this video, we are going to talk about Jamini. Jamini is an AI powered development companion. It can help us with some normal task which we can just search within the Android Studio itself and we no need to go to the browser and then search the query there. Within the Android Studio ID with the help of Jamini, we can search all the doubts we have. Let's start today's video and let's see how we can use Jamini in Android yes. Studio. So this is the current Android Studio I have. It's Giraffe and first we need to update our Android Studio to at least Android Studio Jellyfish. And we are going to use JetBrains Toolbox app to check is there any update possible. So yes, we have these updates and we are going to update our Android Studio to Android Studio Jellyfish. Okay, now we can see that Android Studio Jellyfish is installed. Now let's start Android Studio Jellyfish. This logo is cool. Okay. Now let's create one new project or we can just open our existing project. So I'm just going to use WhatsApp and this is a clone project where we were building WhatsApp UI using Jetpack Compose. We can close all of these tabs. Now if we just check the details about our Android Studio, we are on Jellyfish. Now how we can utilize Jamini here, right? So to launch Jamini, we just need to start our Android Studio. Then we need to go to this view option. Then we have this tool windows and we have Jamini listed here. This one. We just need to click on this. And now we need to sign to our Google account within this Android Studio ID. So we can just click on this. It successful. Now the moment we go back to our Android Studio, we can see that Jamini is authorized. Now we can click on next, next. And here we have few things. We are accepting the conditions. Now we have multiple options here. So we can select this because if you want to check some errors while coding anything in our project, so Android Studio will give some context to Gemini that okay, the person was trying to do this. Now this is the error, how we can solve this and so on. So we can select this and we can click on finish and our Gemini setup is ready. Now we can use Gemini. So let's say, let's try to do some simple task. Let's tell that create one normal composable where we have two text inputs and one button. Let's see what Gemini will try to do. So it's trying to give us some response. Alright, so Gemini gave us one composable and we can see that we have one column then it is having outline text field for text input and one button. This is pretty nice. Let's try to copy this. We also have option to insert this in one new Kotlin file. That's great. Let's click on this. And it added it inside a file. That's that's great. Created a file but minor error. So we can just remove this. And we just need to opt in for this experimental API and our code is ready. Let's try to generate one preview also. Generate one preview for this composable. Let's see what it will do and we will try to take that and add inside this file. Do we have the option to add? No, we don't. But we can definitely... Okay, we have this but it will insert in a new file again. Insert add cursor. Okay, let's click. We want to add here. Our cursor is here. If we click on this, that's fantastic. It inserted in the same file. This is really nice, right? And now we have the preview ready here. Let's refresh and see if our preview is coming up. But this is really cool. It also has the functionality to add at a desired location. Yeah. So we can see that we have two text input, we have one button and all of this is done with the help of Gemini. So let's try to, you know, add some padding and all. Can you add 
some padding in this screen and make preview as running on device in full screen let's see what it will do okay yeah it did the same thing we just need to add this show background so it's nice let's copy this code add it here and our preview will be ready yeah it's really nice so these things we can do with the help of Gemini and this is one part of it now we also have AI code completion and with the help of Gemini it will take context from our code base and it will suggest us so let's try to do that let's say we are trying to add one modifier so if we try to add one modifier will it suggest something yeah see it's suggesting and we can just press on tab it will prefill based on Gemini response so Gemini can help us with multiple things we can ask to build simple files for us simple composable for us and it will keep on suggesting us some responses based on the code we are trying to do and based on the context from our code base so this is really nice another thing is we can also ask Gemini that can you improve some piece of code let's try to do that let's select something and we can right click we can select this Gemini and we can ask can you suggest some improvements let's see okay use default values consider using a lazy column although that's not what we wanted but that's fine for now add descriptive names to the components okay so this is nice Gemini suggesting that we can add some label and these labels can help us understand which field it is that's nice and another thing is we can also ask some normal thing let's say we have some JSON give me some JSON let's take JSON also from Gemini itself okay we have this dummy JSON copy it create data classes or oh, let's say POJO we are not suggesting directly to create data class create POJOs for this response let's say what it will do it should create some data classes but we told POJO okay that's great it eventually created one data class product and based on all of these things it is also giving us one list one dummy list if you want to use also giving us some explanation that I created a data class then I created a list and how we can use it this is really great and it is definitely going to help all the Android engineers out there who are trying to build beautiful Android application so I really like it and I'm going to use it from today onwards and it's really great because we don't need to go out of our Android Studio we can just search within our Android Studio itself because you know that if you want to create any data classes we don't always write all the data classes manually we go and jump on any website and we just give the response and that website returns us some data classes but now that we can do within our Android Studio ID itself and if we are having some errors it can help us fix those errors as well let's say if I remove this this also and some errors are coming so I will tell can you fix this code let's ask can you fix this piece of code so here we have obviously some errors this coma is missing and everything okay so it's suggesting and it added one comma as well let's copy this add it here let's ask one more thing give me some resource to learn as an Android engineer 
so will it suggest something I just want to check will it suggest from Google code labs or some official documentation and all oh nice it's basically suggesting all the things related to Android documentation from Google some resources some books and some courses as well it's nice so it's a huge thumbs up from my side if you want to use Gemini in our day-to-day -day life it can help us in our Android application development and I hope you enjoyed today's video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and please share it with your friends and please do check out our other videos I will be back with another interesting video very soon till then be happy and be you